Hello beautiful collectors and welcome to the Halo Foundry. Do you love Master Chief? Well of course you bloody do, what a stupid question. But do you love the crispy melody of music penetrating your eardrums? Well if you answered yes to the above then do I have the product for you. As today we're going to be reviewing the Halo 5 Master Chief Bluetooth speaker by AC Worldwide. You see, the beautiful people at AC Worldwide knew that there are two things that Halo fans love the most, and that was Master Chief and epic sound waves, to which they gave birth to this beautiful creation in front of us. Standing at a whopping 31 centimeters tall, this bad boy is designed after Master Chief as he appears neck up in Halo 5 Guardians, which of course is everyone's favorite Chief design to date. And with an inbuilt speaker, there is now no better way to listen, not watch, but listen to Pornhub as you stare awkwardly at your own reflection in Chief's visor. This helmet speaker combo comes with a rechargeable battery that will last you 4 to 5 hours. So that's Halo 1, 2, and 3 soundtrack in one charge. It also has a DC input, which is my preferred way of inputting things. It also has wireless Bluetooth connectivity for all your naughty hands free activities two 4 watt speakers and a 10 watt ported subwoofer, whatever the hell they are, NFC at the base for easily pairing your device to it, a USB output port, and it also has these beep boop buttons on the base for quick access to all your connected devices, and as a aux port for whatever that's used for. I'm not really a music expert person so I've got no idea. You see, on my CV I've got my hobbies down as I enjoy outside activities and listening to music. I mean, I might as well add that I eat bloody food on there too. So with my amazing claims to music, I couldn't tell you the first bloody thing about bass or whatever 2 4 watt speakers mean. I mean, I've never in my life heard of a 10 watt ported subwoofer, but this helmet's got one, so that's wicked, I guess. I'm gonna say with this helmet, in all of my music wisdom, music sounds good. But I'll give you a little listen to it later on so you can judge for yourselves and how good it is. But with this helmet though, I'd say that this is a speaker first and a helmet second. As you can tell, most of the money went into how this sounds. But I can see a lot of people out there buying this purely on its design for Chief's helmet and to never use the speaker side of it at all. Now, let's all remember when this epic Halo 3 Collector's Edition came out which gave us the Gen 1 Mark V helmet. Sadly, no official helmets have been released since this, unless you're including these pathetic Halloween helmets. No. So with this speaker combo being released five years ago, it is basically the next best thing to owning another Master Chief helmet, so you can really see all of the appeal when getting this. So what I'm going to do is give you a breakdown of this purely as a helmet and ignore the speaker within. And with that, I've got to say that this thing is absolutely stunning. The detail on this beast perfectly matches the helmet for Halo 5 and if you were to buy this thing with the intentions to only have it on display you wouldn't be disappointed at all. The majority of the helmet is of course molded in green, what a surprise right there, but it's got black molded around the visor and the entire back of the head is also in black which merges into his thick ass neck. Silver is sparingly used around the other parts of the helmet like these bolts on the side and his mouth guard. Sadly, not the entire thing is accurate though, as the green should maybe be a little bit darker to match Halo 5's chief, and it is also missing a few other details in the colour. Uh, these side panels and this middle strip right here should be a darker green than the rest of the helmet, but that's really only a small nitpick for me. But my biggest criticism would have to be that it does look a little plasticky. Some may even say that it looks a little cheap, and I can completely agree with that. But I'd personally love someone to do a custom piece of this, maybe applying a metal effect to all the green and giving it a black wash all over to really define the details. I think that will really spice this up a little bit. Now, I don't want to judge the visor too much as I think AC Worldwide went in the best possible choice here and made Chief's visor the speaker grill. That makes so much sense to me. But you are left with a visor which is embedded with tiny little penis hole dots. But what else do you expect with a speaker really, it has to go somewhere and making his visor the speaker was a banging choice. But the visor is metal which is a really lovely little touch and it does have Chief's visor smile imprinted into it which is fantastic to see. But because of the nature of the speaker grill at certain angles you can see the two speakers behind it which can kill the illusion. 
So if you're buying this thing purely as a helmet for display, I can see that the visor is going to be a little bit of a turn off. But then again, Halo 5 Chief does have the hex pattern all over his visor. So it sort of resembles that. Maybe, maybe not. But it does to me. But as it is, I think this helmet has a really great presence in any room. Its large design really makes it stand out. I mean, even with some of the concerns around the plastic finish on this guy, it really doesn't bother me at all. And honest, I think it is pretty banging. But that is because I look at this thing as a helmet with a speaker, as I personally use the speaker all the time. But I need to add that I picked this up directly from AC Worldwide a few years ago for £50. Sadly, AC Worldwide is no longer among the living. So if you want this, you're going to need to hunt it down from third party sellers. But... £50 is extremely cheap for this sort of thing, so I'm not surprised at all that the helmet is a little bit lacklustre because most of that £50 clearly went into his head guts, the speaker system. So for that really really low price of £50, I think most of the aesthetics can be forgiven. But now let's turn our attentions back to the speaker aspects of this bitch. As I said I really can't tell you much about the sound as I'm really out of touch with how good music is meant to sound. So to me, it's either good or bad. I can't say if it's bassy or whatever other music term out there, but to me, this sounds really good and I really like it. I am a simple man with simple needs and simple likes. But then, with the music, there comes my favourite feature of this flipping helmet. Now calm your tits for this next bit, as when you are pairing it, the lights flash. But that's not all, as when you successfully connect it to a Bluetooth device, we get this. I have a job to do. Tantalising, I know. Yes, that is right, his lights actually light up and so does the visor. And with him saying, I've got a job to do, it really gets me pumped to go through some sick tunes. This little touch really makes this fantastic in my eyes. Honestly, every single time I light this guy up and he screams that phrase at me, ooh, it makes me so goddamn happy. But this does happen every single time you connect it to a device, and there is no way of turning it off, and it is also pretty loud and the volume of it can't be adjusted either. But luckily for me, it doesn't annoy me yet but I can see it driving some people insane, so every time you want to put music on, he has to say the phrase. Anyway, for your reference, here's how the music sounds coming out of it. Now, I'd love to put some Halo music on for you right now, but I don't know if that's going to copyright strike if my channel, so here's some of the music that I use for my channel instead. But there you go, that is my review on this sick ass helmet. But like I said, I personally love this thing and I think it's the next best thing to owning another Master Chief helmet for display. Even though they're completely different, I actually have this thing set up next to the Halo 3 helmet and I think they look sick next to each other. But with that said, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this review. I know it's actually been quite some time that I've actually reviewed something for my collection for this channel, so there you go. But if you have this helmet, let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. And if you don't, let me know if you're going to try and pick it up. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly Halo Gear videos. Until next time, you sexy mofos. Bye.